Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another review, this time looking at the Call of Duty Vulture Attack set. This is from Call of Duty Ghosts, it features 59 pieces, uh, is item number DCL00 and retails for around 9 to £11. Pounds. As you can see, this set includes the Vulture itself, a little terrain base plate with a little flight stand that you can attach the Vulture to, and another version of Riley from the Call of Duty Ghosts. Absolutely fantastic little looking dog here, and we'll get into details now. Taking a closer look at the Vulture itself, this is a kill streak from Call of Duty Ghosts. It's also used in the Extinction mode. Um, as you can probably guess by now, it is incredibly oversized. Um, if I get a Halo figure, um, if you put it next to him, uh, as you can see, it, he could pretty much ride on it, whereas it should be just bigger than his head, pretty much. Um, so they have gone more for a fun build versus accuracy to the game itself. I'm okay with that. I know some people probably won't be, because, um, you know, accuracy and all. And normally I am in that camp, but I think it was a great little build, and it looks cool having it just hovering over the battlefield. If we rotate this round, you have, as you can see, you've got the machine gun barrel, you've got the rotors which do uh, rotate round. Uh, these can pivot ever so slightly, although mine are incredibly stiff. I don't know if that's a design flaw on the part itself, but these are pretty much not movable, even though they should be. Um, you've got the little red tracking camera there. If you rotate it round more, you can see that you've got the antenna for remote operation. It's a fantastic little build. Uh, you can even pivot all this back if you wanted, so you can put it on an angle. Absolutely great little build, tons of detail in it. Like I said, it is oversized, but it's still a fantastic little piece to add to your collection. And like I said, it's just a nice little thing to have hovering over the battlefield versus having large helicopters and whatnot. It's really, really a really cool piece. Uh, definitely glad I picked it up, as I was going to pass on it initially. But th there's more than enough in this little set to justify it. This Riley figure is a reuse of the one from the Ghost's helicopter. Comes with the same accessories, the clip-on flak jacket, the uh, neck brace, and of course the little remote operation device up here. Articulation is on the tail, head, and the legs. They can move forwards and backwards, which is a great little feature. But since the legs are kind of sculpted, this is pretty much all you can get before you start falling over. Um, so it's a shame, in a sense, like it's wasted articulation I imagine. Uh, see if you can get some better poses than I can, but I do feel that it is a bit limited. But being a dog, I'm not going to complain, it still looks great. And it's cool that they're doing more obscure characters from the Call of Duty franchise. If we just move him over and we take a look at the terrain plate, this is just a snow covered terrain plate. You get a nice red barrel which probably explodes if this was the game. And then you get the little display rod that you can clip the vulture onto so it just looks like it's hovering. Past that, a little bit of rubble. It's just a generic display piece, we've seen these used before. But it's great that they've included it as a lot of aircraft don't really have flight stands in the Megablox lines. So it's great that they've included it on this one in particular. So overall you get a fantastic little set with great little details, little features on the Vulture itself. Definitely worth picking up if you can find it. This one was quite hard for us to track down, I had to import it from the US. Um, it doesn't seem to have been stocked here in the UK unfortunately. Um, but past that it's a fantastic little set um, and I definitely recommend picking it up if you're a Call of Duty fan. So that's it for this review, I hope you've enjoyed it, we will be doing more Call of Duty, Halo and Assassin's Creed reviews in the future, so don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video, bye!